Right, cleaning the Honda GCV carburetor. It can be a tricky little thing, especially just to get the jet out. So here we go. Firstly, off with the bowl. And out with the float and the needle. There's the legit needle there. Now we need to get the jet out. The jet sits in the middle. You just see it there, probably. It's got a little slot head for a screwdriver. The problem is that it actually is a different diameter thread to the one that holds the bowl on. It's smaller obviously, but only just, and it doesn't want to slip down through the one that holds the bowl on. And it gets caught in there as well, so we undo it so far, and now you can probably hear it going clicking around, it's off the end of its thread. But it doesn't want to drop out, no matter what you do, you can't get the thing out. So what you need to do is push it out with the nozzle. And the nozzle, you can probably just see that little brassy thing there. Just there. I'm trying to like sticking up to it. That's the nozzle, it protrudes up into the centre of the carburetor. Using an Allen key, get him in, get him on top of the nozzle and push down. And pushing down puts a little bit of pressure on the jet and the jet has started to come out now, it's come down that bit and you can usually now just maybe twiddle it a little bit because it's still caught on the threads that hold the bowl sometimes they just fall out other times, like this one they need a bit of edging out push it down, if we can get it to push down a little bit further there he comes, you, you can feel the drag of it on the threads, getting him out there, you can just feel him dry, you see he's a bit of an interference fit. You take it out. Now, the jet also just, the nozzle rather, just drops out the bottom, there's the nozzle. Okay. Take the hand again. There's your nozzle, and what gets blocked up and makes these things run rough is these tiny little holes up here get blocked and uh, they'll cause it to hunt and surge and do all sorts of things as well as the hole in the nozzle which is there it's the nozzle, a little hole up through the middle you have to look up through them by shining, oh that doesn't work, shining a light this isn't a very good video but it'll have to do we use picks to clean them out this is a pick, a carburetor pick It's a piece of wire basically. You can use that or you can use maybe a spring cut off. I've got a whole selection of springs of different sizes but this is actually a, a Honda pick. Take some picking up too. And it's designed just to, not that it's much of a design, it's only a piece of wire, to stick through the holes and rod them out and just dislodges any rubbish that might be in there. It's not abrasive, it is not a nozzle cleaner from a set of gas bottles and that would be fatal. I have seen people use them. So that's that one cleaned out. And this one is a little bit more difficult because there's so many holes. If you get the shape, you won't do it. So you rod out all your holes. Some are bigger than others, but generally the same size rod will do it. But there are different size picks to do it with. And so on and so forth. And then maybe a bigger one. And just rod it up through the middle to make sure it's clean. Then a squirt of carb cleaner. You can see the little holes doing their business there. I don't think I cleaned that bottom one. one there just needs a, a rod through and that's the same like some rod and I've dropped the other one off there. Anyway. There we go. Is that one rotted through? 
Uh, and then it's a question of sticking that bit of it back together, which is a question of just plonking it back up in, putting the jet in. Aha. And screwing it up, you push it in about 8 10 mil before it catches the internal threads, and then it catches and up it goes and holds the nozzle into place. So that's that bit of it clean. The only other thing to clean is the uh, low speed nozzle, the idle speed nozzle, uh, and jet. Now, the idle speed jet is obviously the one you adjust for idle speed, which is this one here. And this one's normally got an aluminium cap on it. Uh, I've already removed this one at a previous time. Don't bother to put it back on, to be honest, whatever you should do. And the aluminium cap's a limiter. It's got a little tag out the side, and it allows it to go 90 degrees. And the way to get that off is to heat it up with a soldering iron, and it melts the bond of the Loctite that it's stuck on with, and you can then put it off. If you try pulling it off without doing that, you will bend and break this needle, which isn't a good idea, because you then got to find another one. Um, the other thing you can do is cut the little tag off the side of the, uh, li the limiter and rather than take the cap off you need to do that with a pair of side cutters and you need to do it in one nip without putting any sideward pressure on this uh, screw because this screw will break off just underneath the head if you're not if you put any sideward pressure on it anyway that one's out we now need to get to the uh, nozzle the low speed nozzle which is actually under there uh, but you can't get it out because of the low speed adjusting screw so you need to remove the low speed adjusting screw first. Out he comes, hopefully. Okay, there we go. And then remove the blanking screw. Oh, I've never managed to get one of these nozzles out, to be honest. I don't know if they do come out. I've never managed it. So it's merely a question of picking the thing. Again, with the, the cleaning pick. Give it a wiggle and make sure there's nothing stuck in there. Give it a squirt with some carb cleaner, maybe an airline as well. And through through this hole here, which also will back flush through the nozzle and out of the low speed screw as well be whole rather. Now the idle screw, mixture screw, this one with the point on it, this one, actually works through this hole and there's a tiny, tiny little hole down in, you can see it, just down in there, tiny little hole coming out the side, uh, just under, well, just at the bottom there, about 10 millimeters back in, and then there's a series of three little holes just behind that. That's the idle speed mixture screws and when you when you screw this one here you alter the amount of fuel that comes out through those little holes and they've got to be clean otherwise it won't work and they do get blocked from time to time and then you get an inconsistent mix, uh, idle so you can see probably see the cleaning fluid coming up through those holes so that's all nice and clean um, and then we just reassemble and that's the job done hopefully when you put that back on that'll work